Hello painters. In this video we're going to paint the WizKids Pathfinder Battles Dancing Girl. Alright, starting with our Xenophil Priming, we are going to base coat the flesh with P3 Midland Flesh. You do want to thin this paint slightly so you get a nice smooth coat and it will take two coats. Don't worry about painting on the uh, bracelets and jewelry on the arms. We will go back over those with a gold later. Alright, next up we've got P3 Coal Black. We're going to paint the entire dress. Now that we have the whole dress painted, we're going to move on to secret weapon paint. It is rubber highlight. And with this, we're just going to try to hit all the raised areas on the folds of the dress. and also on the rest of the clothing. All right, next up we've got Citadel Known Oil Wash and we will coat all of the fabric with that. The wash kind of helps blend the highlight in with the base coat. Try not to get it on the skin. Don't let it pull up too much in any areas. Alright, now we've got Vallejo Model Air Burnt Umber. We're going to paint the hair. Now back to our secret weapon rubber highlight. We're going to go back and re-highlight the areas we did before just to give a little more contrast on the dress and the rest of the fabrics. Now we've got Vallejo Game Color Royal Purple and we will do all of the trim on the dress in this. There is a uh, little indentation around it that kind of shows you where to go. All right, next we've got Vallejo Model Color Blue Violet. And now we're going to paint everything we just did with the Royal Purple with the Blue Violet. You'll notice I also went around the hat and uh, the bottom of the uh, her top. 
You can also see there are two little tie strings that go onto her belly that we do with these colors. Now we got P3 Rin Flesh to highlight all of the flesh areas. Now back to our uh, model layer burnt umber. We're going to paint the what appear to be bells, like a string of bells around her waist. And you'll notice there's a kind of a rope looking part that hasn't been painted yet I ended up using the purples on that just like the rest of the dress all right now we've got our Citadel Reichlin flesh shade and we will cover all of the flesh with this flesh shade wash As always, just don't let it pull up too much. Wick any excess away with your brush. Now back to the P3 Rin Flesh to re-highlight the flesh. Make sure to hit the nose and the cheekbones, the chin, tops of the breasts. Just where you think the light would shine the most. Once again, back to our burnt umber, and we're just going to do a base coat over the bracelets. This will help the gold stand out more. And then also, she has a very large earring. And I've decided to brighten up the trim on the dress, so I've got Vallejo Game Air Warlord Purple. And we will highlight the trim with that. Now we've got P3 moldy or meaty ochre and we'll dry brush that over the hair. And Army Painter Greedy Gold to go over all of the burnt umber parts the belt, bracelets, and earring. Now we've got a Vallejo model color ivory and I'm going to attempt to do the eyeballs. Actually, I think I'm, I missed filming the uh, ivory part, but here I'm doing the black for the dots of the eyes. Very hard to do on camera. And finally, we've got coal black, and we're just going to paint the boots with that, and then after that dries, hit that again with the Nuln Oil wash. And here's our finished dancing girl. I think she looks pretty nice. Uh... If you'd like to if you like this video please hit the like button subscribe if you'd like to see more for live painting tutorials follow me on twitch tv and if you'd like to show your support and have a chance to win the minis that i paint on these videos check out my patreon 
Links are in the description below. Thanks for watching and see you next time.